I need a boom. I need a bounce. And I need him now. Damn it. This Kolobinovsky's not going to happen on its own. There's me bounce. There's me boom. Uppercut. Uppercut. Sonic boom. Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bush, and today we're going to be talking about my little mate, the T-54 Mod 1. Uh, I had a birthday pop up on uh, my photos today, yesterday rather, and it was like a, a reminder of some of the things that you'd taken pictures of, and it was just all my old screenshots, and I was going away, I think, for a trip, and it was like a Bushka's Best series. And it was all the tanks that were like the best in the game at the time. But this was one of them. And I thought, wouldn't it be a nice thing to go back and play the tanks that used to be the bestest and see how they go? And I'll tell you, uh, this little number went like an absolute pocket battleship. And I was surprised because I really didn't expect the 54 Mod 1 to be good still. And it went really well. I'm going to show you a couple of games here. Um... The first game I played in it was the last game you're going to see. And it was an absolute belter. Uh, prep up for that one, boys and girls. It's going to be worth the wait. Now, the thing the 54 Mod 1 always had going for it was armor. It had an incredible armor profile for a tier 8 medium. In fact, it was a lot more like a, a tier 8 heavy and a good tier 8 heavy at that. The things it didn't have going for it were mobility and uh, its gun had pretty average penetration what's happened since i was gone apparently is it got a little bit of an engine buff and i really noticed that when i was playing this tank i felt like its engine was absolutely uh like way better than i remember it being and that was a surprise to me because that was always the thing that i felt held it back it was the thing that really held it back from being sensational now obviously its armor profile is only good if you know how to angle, and it's only good against certain targets. You can angle it up very easily to about 240, 250 millimeters. That's not a problem. You can even get it to 275, 280 when you go on these, this kind of, this is the perfect angle for it, right? This, where you've got it just at like, I don't know, maybe nearly side on, but with the right drive wheel pointed a little bit towards the Borsig and you're getting great angles. The turret still has a weak point on the hatch, but I mean, that's hard to hit. Like it's not it's not an easy thing to hit. And even if you're firing at it with APCR uh, or heat in a tier eight heavy, which you're gonna be doing like 260 mils, 270 mils a pen, you've still got a lot of ability to angle towards that if you find cover for the side of your tank. If you're in this low depression kind of thing where you're just using the edges of hills. And that's how I always played it. And that play style still seems to work. The thing that I really noticed was it's just nimble um, compared to how it used to be. So it, it's it's one of these tanks where what it does is really, really bully uh, lower tier tanks and same tier mediums and lights. What it doesn't do is obviously tank front line against proper big heavies. Like you're not gonna go up to heat against say an M103 and just push into it. You're going to get absolutely wrecked doing that. And you can see this Chrysler here is very nimble for a tier eight heavy. Everyone knows that. It's got a lot of traverse on it. It's got a long nose. It's hard to hard to get a lot out of it. But if you actually just stick close and make the gun do all kinds of crazy things, keep hitting the tracks, not give it the opportunity to get gun depression down on you, you are still very, very tough to deal with. Now, I was very happy with this because this is one of the tanks that I originally just drove into the ground for win rate. This was a, a tank that I got on my account and never looked back with. It was literally a tank. If you were having a bad day, you pick up a 54 mod one and you just go to town. And the same old tricks still apply to it, but it feels like you're driving a T-44 now. It feels way more agile. And the upper plate, doesn't work and i think this is a problem that a lot of people had in the past i used to rave about this tank and then people would get in it and say oh it's not that great and you know i get penned all the time in it there's two things you have to do with this tank at all times number one you have to be able to see even even when i'm driving along here everything is about the angle of the upper plate towards incoming fire that's just all there is to it 
and you don't look to tank shots, what you're looking for is opportunities to fire, obviously, like any tank when there's no one firing back at you. But occasionally, you'll have to tank a shot. And if that's the case, you then want to be able to wiggle this tank left and right. And that changes the angle on the upper glacis and turns it from an auto pen into an auto bounce. At the same time, turning your side armor into something they can't penetrate, into something that they absolutely will just pen every time. And this movement, this wiggling and jiggling, this juking of shots is the key to the 54 Mod 1. And if you just want to rely on the armor profile to be perfectly angled at X, Y, or Z, you deserve to get penned in it. This is where the engine boost is coming, in my opinion. It just allows you to move the move the tank a little bit quicker. And that's great. Um, there's that LTTB. Uh, we'll deal with him later. Don't worry about that. We're on the top deck here of what is a pretty common area. A um, lot of heavies, a lot of uh, a lot of people come up here and rumble and stumble, and that's fine. I'm not saying that this isn't a place you shouldn't be, but it's a place that I struggle in a lot of tanks. You are very low slung also. You are quite low to the ground. Your pen is rubbish. Um, and this should be acknowledged <laughs> in this, that your pen, you're looking at 175 millimeters of pen on your AP and 235 millimeters of pen on your APCR with a 280 alpha dose. Now, that's stock standard for these Russian mediums. That is absolutely stock standard. You cannot rely on this as a tank that's gonna do the pen business. What you can also not rely on is it being a gun depression tank. It's never been a gun depression tank. It's got five degrees of gun depression, which is fair enough, and about oh, 20 degrees of gun elevation. So you don't end up having any trouble shooting up, but you're certainly having trouble shooting down. And this is the perfect matchmaking for this tank. I'm making no qualms about that. Like, this is a perfect storm. And the first game I've rolled up in, I looked at the matchmaking, and I was just like, this, this is something I can really work with here. Because you want to be facing a lot of tanks that don't have incredible penetration numbers. There's an IS-2 Berlin running around. There's a Smasher, which is a tough tank if it pens you, but the Smasher's pen is not incredible, right? And it also doesn't have incredible gun depression. Now, I'm going to eat, eat one here. That's all there is to it. He is... There's just no way around that. Like, I, I've been caught out in the wide open, but he's very slow, and my plan here is to use a T-43 as my cover. You can see I'm angling up for that, get him on my right side. Cool. So I've now got the 43 between me and the Smasher. Side hugging. This 43 is going to struggle to pen. We'll take the 43, but we're going to eat one from the Smasher, and he, he absolutely bounces his shot. 34 Falcon comes up behind him, and we're rolling and rumbling down, we're looking for another pen on the smash. Now he's in trouble, and this has been a great little passage of play, and we brought this right back. It was, we were well out of this, and we're, we're back in the game, baby. And uh, now we're moving, grooving, shaking our funky thing, heading down, and uh, looking for a little more action. We're down to a 1v3, and I just want to try and get to a position where I might eat one going around the corner, I'll get a bounce. But I'm going to be honest, that was a pretty lucky bounce. The kind of bounce that you need if you're going to make these kind of games happen. And then we're just trying to isolate so it's one target at a time. I'd love to clear that smasher, and this is a big problem for me. I, I need to clear that smasher. There's an LTTB, but the IS-2 Berlin has done me a huge favor here and has gone into the cap. And by going into the cap, I now know that there is no third tank to deal with. This is a big mistake by him. I can now angle towards the LTTB who's going to have any troubles, uh, massive troubles hitting anything but the top of my turret. And that's a hard angle for him. And he's trying to jet out of there. We get the drive wheel. Thank you very much. And this is hit him. Hit him. Aggressive driving. Lock him up. Don't let him use his mobility. Stick in front of him. And this is a nightmare for him. I. This is the tank that... This kind of tank is the tank that an, a Mod 1 feasts on. Something that is fast and light and doesn't quite have 54 cheer up. <laughs> like, I think he's saying, like, cheer the 54. And we angle up again straight away. He's not using a, a big derpy gun there, obviously, so that's the high DPM uh, gun that you get on the IS-2. And we're just happy days. We got this on toast now. This is done. This is done. Making him come right over the top to show his gun elevation. And then we're just going to drive past and fill it up. So I was incredibly happy driving this thing again. Had a bunch of games, lots of wins, lots of damage. 
And that one was about 3,800 damage, I think. Um, Kolobanov, first game back in this tank. Only a first class steel wall. Kolobanovsky, 3,806. This is how you drive a mod one. Hope you enjoyed that one. Look after yourselves, boys and girls. Stay safe in the battlefield. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.